Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. So today I'm filming a new in Topshop haul because I was having a browse on the website and there was so much new stuff that I was loving. I'm kind of done with like the high summer stuff now and I'm kind of ready for like wearing like jeans, jackets, boots, um, just like cute shoes. Um, and I think it's the perfect weather for it now. Like it's literally pouring with rain as I'm sat filming this. So I feel like it's a good time to film the video. The other reason it was a great time to show you this haul is because there is currently 20% off at Topshop using the code SUMMER20, which I will just pop on the screen here. So before we get started with the video, I just wanted to say that absolutely everything that I show you will be linked down below in the description box. And also everything that I show you is in a size 10 unless I say otherwise because I'm a size 10 and I always buy size 10 off Topshop so I will tell you if I've like sized up or down and something but yeah otherwise it will be a size 10. So anyway let's get started with the haul. I thought that I would start with showing you a few of the jackets that I have picked up. So the first jacket that I've picked up which has actually already featured on my Instagram is this blazer. So I actually typical that the first thing I show you I have sized up in this one I did get a size 12 because I wanted it to be like a boyfriend slash granddad slash dad fit blazer um so yeah I sized up to a 12 and I really like the way that that fits it's got black buttons so it goes really well with like black jeans black top or white or any color really I wore mine with a pair of cycle shorts and just did it up so that it was um, like covering my bra and yeah I really liked that look and I just wore it with trainers but you can dress this up 100% it's so good for day or night and I think it's one of those pieces that's going to take you through from autumn all the way to winter but actually having said that I have been wearing blazers all through the summer as well just on top of really cute dresses and I really love that look too so yeah this is a piece that I know that I'm going to wear so so much the next jacket that I want to show you is this denim jacket I think that's what they called it and it's got that tie up at the waist which kind of makes it into like a kimono style jacket I guess but um you could definitely wear it undone as well just as like a really big um oversized denim shirt and um yeah i think again this is a piece that's going to take you from like summer evenings all the way through winter because you can definitely layer that up um I, i'd wear that on top of shorts dresses jeans literally anything it's such a versatile piece but it's just a little bit different than like the regular um denim jacket i think this is going to be so cool with white jeans and cowboy boots um in the autumn and that's exactly how i'm planning on styling that one for you I picked that one up in a size 10 and it's slightly oversized on me but I really really like that look so yeah I would say that that's the way it's supposed to fit and it's definitely true to size. That one came to £42 but then with the obviously the 20% off that'll be even less than that which is amazing for a denim piece. So the next jacket that I want to show you is another like jacket style one um, but it's in this camel and it's definitely like more cropped than the other one that I showed you. Um, this one's got uh, like tortoise shell brown buttons which I really really love and it's a lot thinner than the other one so it's definitely good for like the weather that we've got right now. A really nice like structured jacket. I love how you can cinch it in at the waist and it's so flattering with like mum jeans, white jeans, uh, with shorts over a dress, literally anything and I just think that's such a nice one for the evenings as well. So that one came to £42 as well, which I think is so good for a jacket. It's another really, really versatile piece uh, for a really good price. So the next thing that I wanted to show you is these shorts that I picked up. They're um, like a pair of pleather shorts, um, but I chose them in this like forest green colour because I thought that was just a bit different and I thought that would look so nice with cream. Either a cream like shirt or blouse, like a silky one, or just like a plain body and a pair of heels on a night out. But you could also definitely wear them with um, a plain t-shirt and some trainers and one of those jackets that I just showed you. I definitely think it will look so cool with the blazer on top. So um, yeah, I think I'm definitely going to style those for like an evening out with a body and a pair of heels. Uh, but just because I think like that material is a little bit more dressy but yeah like I said I will be wearing them in the daytime too with a white t-shirt like that and trainers or boots actually how cool in the autumn would they be with a pair of um, cowboy boots oh my god I love that so the next thing I want to show you is a pair of mum jeans so they're this like um, I don't know what colour that is I would say that that's like a beige colour 
um, I can't remember what they called it, but um, it's got like the darker stitching, like that. I think that would be so cool with this jacket as well. Like that utility kind of look with both of those would be really cool because the jacket matches the stitching. Yeah, these are like the classic mum shape, which I always, always wear. And I picked those up in a 28 length 32. I just think they're really different. I do have like the plain white mum jeans and I've got them here just to show you that they are like a completely different colour. Oh, that's not even showing up on camera how different they are. Maybe if I turn the light off. Oh, there. You can see that they're like literally a completely different colour. But yeah, um, I really like them with a white t-shirt as well. I'll put the light back on. Ooh. Yeah, I think they'll be so cool just with like a white t-shirt and a pair of trainers. They're just a little bit different. They're almost kind of like chinos, but they're not, if you get me. Yeah, I really like those. So the next thing that I want to show you is a pair of jeans that I actually saw on Nadia. Um, if you don't follow her on Instagram, you need to follow her on Instagram because um, she's amazing. Uh, so yeah, it's these like wide leg cropped jeans. I saw them on her and I was like, oh my god, I have to have them. But I don't know if they're going to look as good on, on me as they do on her. Uh, I haven't actually tried them on yet. But I just think they'll be so nice with a pair of trainers or a pair of heels. Uh, especially like a dainty pair of like um, pointy shoes would look so nice like against the big wide um, bottom of the jean because it's just such a nice contrast but yeah I love those and I'm really excited to try those on just with like a white shirt or a white t-shirt I think they're just a bit different to like your normal pair of mum jeans I think I'll get like a lot of wear out of them because I am getting a bit bored of wearing like normal mum jeans so the next thing that I want to show you is this skirt so I already did try on the dress version of this with like the it's the same like fabric but it's got like a bardo top connected to it um, and I didn't think that I'd get that much wear off the dress so I thought I would pick up the skirt instead just to see how that would look with like a plain body or a pe uh, get your words out or a plain t-shirt just because I think with the skirt it's easier to dress up and down it's like less of a statement well it is a statement because it's polka dots but you know what i mean it's just like more casual when you put it with a t-shirt so it's like ruffles uh it's got a little slit i think it's slightly longer at the back than it is at the front and then it's got this like a uh, tortoise shell d-ring belt so that you can pull it in but holding that up i actually think that let me sit down holding it up i think that that belt i mean the waist looks quite big on the 10. Having said that, I'll probably put it on, it'll be too small for me, but um, yeah, I did think that the waist looked quite big. So maybe size down, but I'm not sure. Next things that I wanna show you are some accessories. First thing is a pair of shoes. So I saw these um, on like the new in section of the shoes and I was like, oh my God, they're gorgeous. How nice would they be just with a pair of mum jeans? I love the block heel and how they're like pointy. In fact, how nice would they be with these? And a white shirt. I love that. Definitely going to try that on. But yeah, these are a really reasonable price. They're only £39, which I think is really good for a pair of shoes. Plus the discount, obviously. Like, can't go wrong, I say. But I think... Because they're snakeskin, they'll go with so much, because in my opinion, snakeskin is neutral. So yeah, I think that they'll just go with so much. Even like against that outfit, I just think they look really, really good. And I think the shape is just so classy. So yeah, love those. The next thing I want to show you is another pair of shoes, which I'm literally in love with. So it's this pair of boots, which is like that Western style. They're not the same as the ones that I had last year. They're definitely like a different shape, but they've got this silver toe, which I think is so cool. And I just love the like black outline. How cool are they? And they, they're, um, they're real leather. They are 89 pounds, so they are quite pricey, but I just know how much I wore my black ones last year. And I think like in that colour for the autumn or in the summer with a dress, I think that's so cool. So yeah, like imagine them with like a white dress, white like floaty dress, a leather jacket and then I love that look. That's so cool. 
so yeah they are as i said 89 pound which are quite pricey but the quality i know is amazing and they're so comfy so i know i'll get so much wear out of those so the next thing i want to show you is a bag um let me just take the stuffing out of that So I saw this come out as one of the Topshop love things and I just thought that that is such a cool style. That is giving me kind of like saddlebag vibes but it's not a saddle shape so it's not like a complete copy but I love that. And I love how it's got like the tortoise shell and the gold and yeah. It's also got a long strap so if you don't want to have the short strap like that then you can have the long strap and have it like over your shoulder or across your body. It's got quite a few like compartments inside and that's the strap. Um, so this bag is literally the cheapest thing, it's 29 pounds. And I think that'd be so handy as like an everyday bag if you're going into town or into like work or I don't know what you have to take to work. If you don't have to take a laptop, then that would be really good for work. Um, but yeah, just like a day bag, that's so good for 29 pounds. So that is everything. I'm now going to go and try everything on and record that and probably slot it into like the bits where I'm talking so that you don't have to just look at my face the whole time and you can actually see what everything looks like on. So my brother's just moved out of his bedroom so it's like completely empty so I'm going to go and film that bit in there. Um, so that's why I'm in like a completely bare room if you're wondering. So I hope you enjoyed my haul. Um, I hope I didn't go too quickly. I didn't have like loads and loads of stuff to show you but I hope that you did like everything that I did show you and I inspired you to buy something. If you don't already follow me on Instagram I'd love if you head over there and give me a follow just to see me wearing those outfits in real life. And if you don't already subscribe to my channel it would mean the world to me if you did click subscribe so that you can see when I post other videos. I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully I'll see you again next time.